All right, drivers behind the line. In three, two, one, go. Robots moving forward in autonomous. Stiples just shy of that cube as Walton grabs one to take over to the red side. Lunatex going back up for that dock and engage. 2974 Walton Robotics just shy of that last cube during autonomous. All our robots are moving forward now that drivers are taking control. Metal Muscle creating a robot sandwich there with Sparky, all fighting over two different cubes. Who will come out on top? Metal Muscle trying to go for it, but Lunatex snatch it from just underneath them. Walton Robotics communicating with their alliance to go and get the cone up on the shelf in the human player station. Stipulse looking to intake a cube, and they do. Running that over with one link on each side. 100 seconds left in the match. Lunatex returning a cone to the Blue Alliance. Walton Robotics, the Red Alliance, taking their cube and scoring it where they can. Using their elevator mechanism to place it onto the top level. On the blue line side, looks like a little bit of conflict there between 384 and 694. Sparky and Stifles. We have quite a collection of game pieces there in the blue human player station, setting them up for Stifles and friends. The Red Alliance 1506 Metal Muscle ready for a cone from the human player. And on the Blue Alliance, Lunatex also taking cones from the human player. Just a 20 point difference with 40 seconds left in the match. Five links on blue, four on red. And 30 seconds to go. It has been a flurry of activity here on the Milstein division so far. Almost a full grid there on the blue side. Lunatex trying to help that out as they go. Red Robots lining up for the ascent onto the charging station. Three blue robots going up as well. Three red, they are level. Three blue, they are level two. That is what we call three in a row, two times over. 174 to 157, that grid and charge station making a difference. Four ranking points on blue and two on red.